You're listening to the Cricket Podcast. Uh, Ross, that's the end of the preview for all of the teams. Um, Shall we run over on to, we've got a, well, a bunch of questions um, to get through. Uh, just a quick reminder, you know, before we get to the questions, that if you ask your question through Patreon, because you're a Patreon, uh, we will definitely answer it and we'll probably spend longer on it as well because we, we, we'll, we'll go first in our list. So head over to patreon.com forward slash the cricket pod um, to do that. Um, VJ, he has two questions for us over on Patreon. Um, first of all, how about Owen Morgan? Does his team have any chance of coming back? Well, I don't think, he, I think we answered that on the, so, the, yeah. the episode with, 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 with all, all the, the bit of the preview where we talked about KKR. Um I don't think as a, as a podcast we're massive buyers of of uh, Owen Morgan as a captain, and I definitely don't think there's going to be a miracle here. Um, Dan, I don't know if you disagree. Well, I think you know my thoughts on Owen Morgan already. Um, yeah, and I've got and you know, my thoughts on KKR. So yeah, uh, I think we'll we'll call, we'll call it quits there. I think that they just need to go and reach for the major auction, but whether they've got anyone in their think tank who is a recruitment genius is uh, another debate entirely. Could be more. Um, yeah, probably not. Uh, so they'd have to win six games to do that point. So BJ, I don't think it will happen. Um, Max, he goes on to ask, will it affect his confidence leading uh, England to the World Cup? Do you reckon Morgan, if he doesn't do something at the IPO, will be sad going into the, into the World Cup? Um. I would say probably not, although I suppose there's the factor that it's in the same place as the UAE. So if maybe maybe if he struggles because of where he is, that might uh, impact him. But I think uh, he'll be he seems like the kind of person who'll be able to, you know, sort of separate the the two. They're quite they're quite different environments. Um, he's, I assume, got a bit more control in the England team because he's sort of, sort of left to his own devices. Whereas with KKR, you know, he's sort of the new captain on the block, only taking over from Kartik. Uh, last year so i think it'll be a, a bit more of a a team in his own his own mold one that he's put together and something that he will feel a little more comfortable with so yeah i think uh, i think they can be separated and the second question or the third question that vj asks is about Ish- ishan kishan um, is anyone worried about his form he didn't do much in sri lanka as well uh, Dan, is Ishan Kishan bad now, or is this <laughs> what's what's happening there? I haven't had this little downturn, and this happens a lot for younger players. They have, often have like one year where they they really struggle, and then they come out of it the, the other side the better. But I'm also wondering if uh, I haven't seen Ishan Kishan for a while, and I'm wondering if maybe he might have taken the Colin de Grandhomme approach, got rid of the mullet, and uh, and that might that might oh. get him back in the runs. Yeah. <laughs> Possibly, it is weird. He was, he was, at, he was pretty bad in the first half of the IPL. I, I think, Max, you're, you made this point that, that perhaps the pitches didn't suit him. No. I think there's, yeah. and they there's would have been similar in Sri Lanka, wouldn't they? And you have to remember as well, we're talking about like seven matches or ten matches um, that he's played uh, across the IPL and, and and that tour of Sri Lanka. Like it's pretty common over ten matches for uh, for a. Um, for, there's a cat in the background there. Yeah. Um, for a player to to have a little poorer run um, in in a, in an extremely volatile format. Um, I mean, you know, like we we you know we've talked this whole series, this whole series of podcasts here um, about the first half of the IPL and stats and so on. But there's you have to take so much of it with a pinch of salt because of where somebody played for four matches or you know maybe you're one iffy umpire's call decision away from having completely different stats there's a lot of there's a lot of variance in, in t20 cricket and because you have to play a shot of ball as well uh, it just goes up compared to the longer formats um over on twitter and we'll try and keep these questions a little bit short uh, or the answers to these a little bit shorter um max do you think with some of the players this is from vinay do you think with some of the players missing um that there's a little bit of sheen taken off this part of the up uh, part of the ipl um i do actually uh it especially with the big gap in the middle uh it sort of feels like two mini tournaments rather than one big one doesn't it it's uh, a little bit disjointed and as uh sort of a kind of uh kind of a feeling that um some of it could come down to who gets their replacements in better and who was affected the most by replacements so i I can certainly um i can certainly uh get get that sort of um 
that sort of feeling from it. But there's a mega auction coming up anyway, so wouldn't worry about it too much. Yeah, I wouldn't either. Uh, Rajdeep asks uh, for you, Dan, can the bottom four make it to the playoffs or is the table going to stay as it is? Well, table rules uh, suggest that usually there's a few upsets, but um, no, I, I certainly don't see Sunrise or KKR doing anything. Um, maybe Kings 11. Uh, they're, not Kings 11. they're always going to be Kings 11 in my mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, can, yeah, I, can't, lose, I can't lose this. Uh, Punjab Kings, I should say. Yeah. You can't even oh, call they've only the, got six well, matches, though. So they you can't even call them the Kings because that's Chennai. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, yeah, it's a joke. Um, <laughs> um, and which team, and this is from Josh, Dan, probably your best to answer this as well, which, which team do you reckon has missed out the most due to replacements? Um, if you're going to pick a winner and a loser out of the team. Um, Surely it's Sunrisers because they've still got their team. I'll go with that. That is about <laughs> as good as it's going to get. Although I, I, think, I think Southie for Cummins is a, about as big a downgrade as you could possibly wish to find the KKR as well. Yeah, I don't think KKR have done particularly um, well overall. Uh, I don't. It's, I don't think there's been a huge uh, change around in, with, with any of them. I do think RCBs, the players they've brought in, are in large part better than the ones that that went out. Um, and I think Kasaranga in particular. Um, is at least he's probably as good a bowler as Zampa, but with extra batting, bat. which is yeah. yeah, which is always nice. Um, so I, I and I think everyone's like quite excited about hopefully seeing him play a few matches. Yeah. Um, in the IPL, um, Max, um, we'll do maybe a couple more. Mm-hmm. Um, why? Uh, sorry, no. Uh, thoughts on which team of the bowlers, uh, which team have bowlers who don't concede many boundaries, and is that a viable way to win T Twenties? You might want to answer this together. Um, which, which your favourite bowling lineup? Let's just distill it down to that. Uh, surely it's got to be the one that's got Boomer in it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, you can, well, if you flip it, you flip it on its head, right? One of the main things, one of the main ways to win a game is to score more boundaries than the other team. So yeah. if you can restrict the other team from scoring boundaries, then it stands to reason that that's uh, definitely a way that you can uh, you can win it. Yeah. Um, and I think that. More or less. I mean, someone's asking whether Milan, Wokes and Bairstow pulled out of the IPL as revenge for the test match. I don't think so. I think they just, they've all going to go to the IPL and they'd all have to go to the Ashes. Well, and Milan and, and Wokes are barely going to play. So what is the yeah. point for them? Yeah. Um, Dan, last one for you. And, and, and this is a pretty tough one to, to predict. Pig Cricket asks, yeah. which team would you expect to hit the highest six percentage in the remainder of the tournament? Oh, that's a good question. Well, I think you'd have got, you'd have got a, uh... Not many people would have predicted that CSK would be leading the way right now. Um, but they have got today, they've got Moen Ali, they've even got Raidu. So, um, yeah, um, I don't know. That's a tough one. My, my boys are RCB, you know. Why not? Yeah. Yeah, yeah you've got Glenn Maxwell, you've got the Villiers. Yeah, that's where, I, that's where I'd go. Got a few. RCB. Uh, I think the Dre Russ factor. Um, I'm just going to say Andre Russell Andre Russell by himself is going or to perhaps, the most who's got <laughs> who's got the most games at Sharjah well that's that's the that's the, that's the clever answer yeah that's the clever answer and also <laughs> Rajasthan were doing alright in the six sitting charts before and now they've got Liam Livingston that's pretty handy isn't it yeah because I, yeah. I, I think there's a few players in Rajasthan's team who have only hit a six so I know Chris Morris is one of them he's hit five yeah, or six that, sixes yeah. not hit a four um, which is pretty good going uh, and yeah Livingston Livingston with his you know, we should send a tweet about it, Livingston. And he'll he'll like it immediately. <laughs> uh, anyway, that I think there are a couple of other questions. I'm, I'm sorry if we didn't get to them. Someone, uh, but you know, there's the whole IPL coming up, so I'm sure there'll be other times. Um, uh, we will just to confirm be doing shows through the whole IPL. I don't think we'll do one every day. That might be a bit much, uh, but we'll try and do a few a week. Uh, you know, I think what were we doing before three, four a week max. Uh, yeah, you know what? So long ago, I can't remember, but yeah, I think I think, was, I think between I, us, yeah. yeah, let's say three at least three a week. Um, I think what we were doing was I got a show when there was a double game day and then mm. a show every other day, otherwise, which I hope makes sense. Anyway, find us at the cricket pod on Twitter where we'll definitely let you know. Um, 
when we're going to be doing podcasts. Uh, subscribe to us on YouTube because that's another good way of knowing when we're going to do a podcast. Road to 10K. Um, and we're on Patreon. Get your questions in. Patreon.com forward slash the cricket pod um, for that. Dan, uh, any messages from you? Yeah, you can find me on uh, Twitter at SA Advantage. Uh, you can check out Substack, danwaston.substack.com. And I, if you're lucky, I might even write about all the RC, um, RCB players. The IPL replacement players, including all the RCB players, oh. uh, are doing, doing my next Substack will be about the replacement players in advance of the tournament. Cool. Um, so, dear, hit, hit like on that one. Um, thanks very much for listening. Thanks very much for watching. Um, we will be back, I think, um, after the first match of the IPL. Bye-bye. You're listening to the Cricket Podcast.